Hello and welcome dear viewers to a new episode of Windows Live on Nile TV International. I'm Karim Kamaluddin and I'm going to be your host for tonight. And uh, tonight we're going to be shedding the light on the uh, a very uh, important topic which is uh, youth. And uh, as you may know dear viewers, uh, youth represents 60% uh, of the Egyptian population which is of course uh, a vast majority of the Egyptian population and uh, the state depends on them of course uh, for modern development plans and youth empowerment is a word that was like a dream for Egypt and uh, under President Afatah Sisi and since he took the helm of the country um, uh, youth uh, empowerment is among his top priorities and this was evident in the Egyptian state's uh, uh, several steps toward that goals in all levels and to shed more light on this topic we're most delighted to be joined here in the studio by Dr. Mu'taz Abu Zaid, Professor of Public Law. A very good evening, uh, Professor, and thank you so much for joining us live on Windows here on Nile TV International. Good evening, Mr. Karim. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you, sir. The pleasure is all ours. Uh, sir, uh, first of all, if you can tell us about uh, uh, and shed the light on the state's efforts in empowering Egyptian youth, as uh, I mentioned in the introduction, that they represent a vast majority of the Egyptian population. Um, yes, of course, I, uh, I will take your uh, nice sentence when you call it as a dream for the Egyptian country. Of course, it was for uh, many decades here in Egypt, um, youth empowerment was a very uh, uh, precious dream for all Egyptians. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, since our new era after uh, our political and economic changes happened in 2011, 2013, and of course by uh, the responsibility began with uh, Mr. President Fatah Sisi, of course uh, uh, it, it took a new path or a new track that we can uh, uh, imagine. Uh, firstly, it can uh, be uh, evaluated according to the great participation of youth uh, by uh, the political changes, political participation, even uh, referendums or elections happen in Egypt, and of course the presence of uh, uh, youth in these uh, uh, events give it a great push and give it a great uh, value for all the Egyptians. After, after that, uh, uh, a new um, field was opened by the participation of uh, youth uh, according to uh, the same program of empowerment by the uh, PLP programs of the uh, president uh, training, uh, uh, raising the awareness of uh, youth, uh, putting them on uh, the right road, serving this country uh, uh, to, to save this great power, as you said, because it's a great category in the uh, uh, Egyptian population. Of course, in the third stage, we uh, noticed, uh, according to the uh, uh, empowerment of youth, was uh, uh, occupying many positions that can, uh, wasn't occupied by uh, youth before, like uh, vice mayors, vice uh, ministers, of course, in many places and in many specifications. Of Governors. Course, reaching, of mm. course, reaching mm. this position was mm. really a dream for youth. And uh, uh, finally, we can mention also the participation as members of uh, parliament uh, like the council of senates or council of representatives of course youth took a great participation or great opportunities to uh, have a, a, a voice in these uh, great entities here in egypt mm -hmm. um, and uh, last but not the least uh, uh, it, um, it must be mentioned that uh, uh, youth empowerment, of course, uh, uh, took place nowadays according to the uh, economic field, uh, pushing them for uh, new projects, uh, new ideas, new technologies. And of course, this uh, uh, will be a great uh, uh, empowerment for uh, the youth and also it will be a great push for the Egyptian economy as well. Yes. Uh, Professor, uh, just speaking on what you have just said, uh, how can we uh, 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 build on the capacity of Egyptian youth uh, as a building force towards development? Yes. Uh, of course, no, uh, no way. We cannot deny uh, the role of education, the role of training, the role of uh, uh, the public opinion of the society as a whole for uh, giving a new generation or making or founding uh, 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 an empowered youth here in Egypt. Uh, firstly, according to the education sector, of course, the Egyptian country, we must admit that it cuts uh, a very long uh, road for uh, 
the development and um, uh, improving of this uh, sector that was <coughs> neglected for many years and of course the change and the development of this sector may, may, may take many years and may take many efforts from the people and from the country as well. Of course the new, uh, uh, the new concept of training here in Egypt uh, uh, also must be uh, uh, mentioned as it was now uh, as it is now uh, achieved or uh, practiced by a very specialized entities like the uh, national uh, academy for training and of course uh, the national academy for combating corruption of course all these bodies or all these entities give give this uh, uh, this new uh, figure of training for use and preparing uh, this uh, 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 category in the Egyptian population for new positions and for new achievements. Mm -hmm. Of course, on the other side, we must uh, 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 we must mention uh, uh, the preparing of the youth by themselves. Of course, you must have a target, you must have an objective. Uh, uh, no way now or no opportunity to one who will wait, uh, someone will give him a position, someone he will give him an opportunity to have a, a work in some places, even the public or the private sector. You must have your way and you must have your plan and otherwise you will not have a place between all these achievements that uh, can be uh, uh, done by uh, the country. Um, according to this main three bases, we can say that we put the first step according to the plan of uh, youth empowerment or development. Yes, uh, just uh, picking on what you have just referred to in your discussion, sir, the presidential uh, leadership program. Uh, if you can also tell us more about the state's efforts uh, towards empowering youth. Um, of course, Egypt suffered many uh, um, political or maybe many uh, um, social changes according to uh, many trends, uh, religious, political, uh, affected the, the, the ideas of youth. And of course, youth cannot uh, be denied. They are the, the force of the country mm -hmm. unless they are influenced by uh, wrong or harmful or uh, 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 anti-state uh, uh, ideas uh, like terroris uh, terrorism, like uh, uh, corruption, of course, yes, yeah. e extremists. All, all mm. of these ideas uh, may uh, affect th this force that you depend on to mm -hmm. uh, build your development. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other side, uh, the, bega the, the beginning was uh, uh, according to the, uh, a new plan to gather these uh, 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 youth, listen to them. Uh, sharing, sharing their uh, uh, dreams and their objectives for the future, uh, 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 touching all the uh, activities they can participate in. And of course, you know, we can, we can uh, admit that the Egyptian youth give a new figure, especially in front of the uh, youth world when, when, we, when we make uh, uh, great uh, conferences and uh, in, um, invited a very great number of uh, youth from Africa, from Europe, from the whole world here in Egypt to see to what extent we reach uh, the uh, youth development and how can the youth uh, Egyptian presenting this country carefully and excellently in front of uh, this uh, great number of youth from all the world. And of course, it was mentioned that the great success of these uh, conferences uh, also encourage more and more youth to participate in this plan. Yes. Uh, professor, uh, speaking about economic development and um, building on youth as a driving force towards the progress in this uh, regards, uh, um, what about uh, the small, medium and uh, micro enterprises uh, and uh, the, the state's support uh, for youth to, um, to work in this uh, field and to uh, achieve economic development for the country? Yes, according to what you mentioned, as uh, support of the state for these projects or these enterprises, of course, we must mention that according to our new constitution, produced or issued in 2014, mm -hmm. the investment and the economic development was one of the basis of these countries. Mm -hmm. It's not a, um, an additional uh, uh, function of the country just to support, but it's one of the basis of your development right plan, uh, of course. According and according to the, to the individuals, they, this is one of their rights, their mm -hmm. main rights. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, this, uh, this, is, uh, ad this is admitted all over the world to have a participation in your economic plan in your country, it, 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 that's right to be considered as a, a, a human right. Mm -hmm. This is the first point. The mm -hmm. second point, 
Now, here in Egypt, we are leaving uh, the era of agendas. We have a great plan, mm -hmm. participated in Egypt's vision uh, yes, 2030. Of course, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. The new strategy or mm -hmm. the great umbrella that mm -hmm. we all working mm -hmm. under uh, to have uh, to reach the strategy of 2030. And mm -hmm. including uh, new initiatives every year can be born, like the uh, Year of Women, mm -hmm. the Year of Disabled, mm -hmm. the Year of uh, 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 Civil Society, as the next year yes, uh, our president declared yes, it. Mm -hmm. And of course, to have an initiative or to uh, uh, glow a new uh, mm -hmm. achievement like the strategy of uh, human rights here in Egypt. Of mm -hmm. course, it was a great uh, uh, success for uh, this uh, uh, sustainable development plan. Mm -hmm. According to all these factors, you must mention that the economic development <coughs> is one of the main bases that you depend on. And on the other side, or the, uh, the, the first topic we uh, are talking about, uh, the uh, empowerment of youth. Of course, giving the youth the opportunity to participate in this economic uh, uh, development need a push or need a great support in the uh, private sector or the sector of projects or enterprises, either small or uh, micro or uh, medium. Mm -hmm. uh, not only to push them for positions in the uh, governmental sector, of course, having new ideas, having new additions for the economic uh, uh, development, uh, this will be a great field for youth to participate in by uh, this uh, micro or small or medium enterprise. Yes. Uh, professor, uh, speaking about uh, the, the government or the state's push in this uh, field, yes. how can this uh, achieve or accomplish uh, uh, an overall uh, economic progress or uh, economic uh, flourishment? Of course, this uh, progress or flourishing uh, can be held by uh, uh, the two ways that the Egyptian country uh, are achieving nowadays. Mm -hmm. The first way, giving the legal frame for these activities. Mm -hmm. And of course, we had a great achievement uh, the last year, 2020, by issuing the law number 152 for the year 2020. According to the, uh, uh, the parliament uh, issued uh, this uh, law, which is the main title of this law was uh, uh, the development of micro, medium and small uh, enterprises. Mm. And of course, having a, a certain or a specified uh, uh, legislation like this law will serve a great sector in, uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this development. Uh, it made uh, many categories for uh, these enterprises, uh, differentiate between these enterprises according to the capital firstly initiating in these uh, enterprises, giving new concepts for uh, this field like incubators, like accelerators, uh, like uh, uh, the uh, specified or the uh, jurisdiction authority to deal with these uh, uh, enterprises. Of course, uh, they put these enterprises according to the map of investment. Um, it's not only welcoming the great or uh, large project that the country participate in or inviting large uh, investments or great investors from inside or outside, but of course, including the small or micro or medium enterprises in this investment plan was very welcoming and it was mm -hmm. really one of the main bases to make an economic development. And mm -hmm. of course, it was applied in many countries like Singapore, like Brazil, like India, having the, the, the participation of youth in these enterprises. And of course, it made a real uh, economic difference in their development. This is the first uh, uh, way. The second way, the strategies of the uh, government, welcoming uh, atmosphere for uh, these uh, uh, projects by giving uh, 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 financial aids, uh, by giving uh, training no. support, by giving uh, new technology support, mm -hmm. by making a new infrastructure every way, serving this uh, uh, micro or, mi uh, uh, or small or uh, medium uh, enterprises. Of course, by having these two wings for this plan, the legislative or the uh, legal frame, and of course, the uh, practical or the strategy of the government, I think this will lead for a very good result in this development. Yes. Uh, Professor Abu Zaid, uh, also uh, speaking about uh, having s uh, said uh, uh, what you have kindly noted, uh, how can this uh, create uh, all these efforts uh, exerted by the state uh, to empower youth and to pave the way for them uh, to uh, initiate or to establish small, medium, and uh, small, micro, medium enterprises. Uh, what about creating job opportunities? Of course, this will be a great field for uh, uh, this uh, uh, 
opportunities of jobs uh, mm -hmm. in these enterprises mm -hmm. uh, according to uh, the definition of these uh, projects or these enterprises uh, in the law i mentioned the 152 for the year 2020 mm -hmm. differentiated between uh, the enterprises according to the capital and according to the number of employees or number mm -hmm. of workers in each enterprises mm -hmm. and of course to be stuck to these numbers or this definition will really create a new opportunities for, uh, uh, for use in these uh, enterprises. On the other hand, uh, um, we can change the uh, 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 thoughts of uh, use, not only by having a position in these enterprises, but to be an owner or to be an entrepreneur for these uh, enterprises, to be uh, a developer, uh, one of uh, the people who began with a small or a, a micro enterprises and seeking for making it a great investment company or a new shape of investment. And of course, this will serve for a new category of positions, not only to have a, a, a function or a job. No, you can be the owner or the uh, developer uh, according to these enterprises. And we have, uh, just in light of what you have kindly uh, said, the Professor, we have also seen uh, the government uh, and the state supporting uh, innovation labs and in incubators in yes. order to encourage uh, uh, the Egyptian youth, uh, uh, just, just someone who has an idea, how to build on this idea and to make it a great success. Yes, of course, this is, uh, this is a must. According even to the uh, fields uh, opened in this, uh, uh, in this law, like participation in uh, agricultural development, like having uh, uh, a new ideas or new projects or new enterprises in the uh, technology industry uh, field, and of course using the new and renewable sources of energy. Mm -hmm. Of course, all these great fields or all these new fields mm -hmm. must be supported, must be uh, 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 technically mainly supported by the uh, uh, by the country uh, to push uh, uh, youth and encourage them to participate in these fields that may they may uh, uh, not uh, have a great knowledge about it or uh, they may uh, not have uh, uh, the uh, uh, fund affording uh, this uh, participation and of course uh, there will be a great uh, uh, push from the country in these fields. Yes, uh, Professor, uh, allow us to go for a short break and then we'll continue our very constructive discussion speaking about uh, youth empowerment and uh, ways forward towards progress and prosperity for our Egyptian youth, which represent uh, a, a vast majority of the Egyptian population. Uh, dear viewers, a short break and then we'll be back to resume our discussion with our guests here in the studio live on Windows only on Nile TV Internet. Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. Uh, you're still watching uh, Windows Live on Nile TV International, continuing our discussion about uh, the empowerment of Egyptian youth, which is a driving force uh, towards the uh, progress and prosperity of this country, and continuing our discussion with our dear guest here in the studio, uh, Professor Mataz Abu Zaid, uh, Professor of Public Law. Uh, Dr. Mataz, uh, before we went uh, on break, uh, we were talking about uh, empowering Egyptian youth and uh, uh, the state's efforts, of course, towards uh, achieving this. Uh, uh, also, if you can uh, tell us, uh, Professor, uh, and shed the light on the target groups, uh, uh, those who are, um, uh, uh, these efforts are tailored towards, uh, and uh, those who are mainly uh, targeted with, the, with these efforts by the state to empower Egyptian youth. Yes, Mr. Karim, according to your question, we must um, uh, uh, notice that you can measure or you can evaluate the strategy or the, even the legislation and its issuing from the parliament according to the effect occurred by it in the society. Um, um, unless it, uh, uh, it will give a, um, a new push for a certain field in the society, so it will be useless. And of course, according to these changes happened in Egypt or the main uh, 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 concepts here in the Egyptian society, we create this uh, uh, new law according to these concepts. Um, about 20 years ago, according to the old law for developing of uh, small projects, which was issued in 2004, it was considered that the development of projects uh, means uh, uh, already standing project and we can push it by uh, some funds, give uh, more workers, give more uh, uh, technical support for it. But it must be uh, already standing and already uh, uh, ongoing its way. It's not uh, from the beginning. The new concept or the new uh, 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 ideas 
uh, obtained by the new legislation that you can begin uh, 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 not only from scratch before the scratch mm -hmm. you 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 are not a, a young investor you can be a fresh graduate have no capital to begin to begin uh, your uh, uh, initiative or your project in the uh, uh, in this field so we can begin uh, uh, with you from your first step how to get this fund how to have your license how to make uh, uh, your tax treatment how, uh, how you deal with all these uh, administrative bodies to have uh, this license or these documents and of course as we said before it was uh, put upon the same way like the uh, investment activities giving a rule for uh, GAFI uh, uh, associations, the uh, uh, General Association for Free Zones and Investments. Mm. And of course, as it serves uh, the great investments or uh, large investors here in Egypt, of course, it can give uh, service for uh, the new entrepreneurs or the owners of uh, new enterprises, uh, having the uh, service of one stop. Uh, treatment mm -hmm. to have all your uh, license and all your documents and all your uh, service taken by one uh, window mm -hmm. uh, in a certain uh, number of uh, maybe days or hours and this of course give a great acceleration for the uh, begin uh, procedures of these uh, projects. Yes. Of course one of the groups targeted by uh, this uh, uh, law of course uh, women <coughs> uh, and of course women had a very long time to take mm. a, a participation in the economic development here in Egypt and of course according to the uh, maybe concept, maybe standards, maybe history of the Egyptian uh, uh, society, uh, women has uh, uh, somehow um, a very narrow opportunities to have uh, financial or economic uh, sources. Uh, so uh, uh, the uh, push of the government and the aids of the government and the funds uh, uh, prepared by the government, especially for the uh, 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 projects of women, was great, and it was uh, and it had a great uh, percent for uh, from the projects supported and funded by the uh, country according to uh, this uh, new law. Uh, of course, uh, I think or I remember that um, uh, in the beginning of this year. Uh, the governor of uh, 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 the governorate of uh, Damita uh, uh, opened a new uh, uh, center village in uh, this uh, governorate, serving only uh, the projects of women, and it was called the village uh, uh, women-friendly uh, uh, projects. Uh, according to uh, uh, the uh, most of the population of this village was uh, from women. Uh, most of the project owned and functioned by uh, women, and of course uh, funded according to the uh, programs of funding of these projects for the women uh, enterprises or project. And it was really a great achievement uh, uh, celebrated by the Egyptian government. Yes. Uh, Professor, in light uh, of our discussion, uh, what would be your advice uh, to uh, our youth? Um, of course, as I said before, you must have a plan. Uh, no one can depend upon uh, another one nowadays. Of course, you can uh, uh, make your way. And um, uh, no, 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 nothing can uh, uh, obstacle you or nothing can uh, object you in this dream or in this plan. You have many open fields in the governmental sector, in the private sector, even for your new enterprise or new uh, uh, project, you have your own way and you will, you will have a great support. Uh, by uh, funding, by uh, training, by uh, even education. Uh, so uh, no reason can uh, 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 delay you to have uh, a great step or a great dream according to the uh, very welcoming atmosphere nowadays even for the great investments and also for uh, the uh, micro and small and uh, medium projects. Yes, uh, speaking about uh, also exploiting or building on uh, the opportunities paved uh, or provided by the state. Uh, yes. uh, what would be your comment on that uh, for, for the Egyptian uh, youth and of course for all the youth uh, watching us and willing, uh, those who have, um, might have a simple idea and don't yes. know from where to start, what would be your recommendation? Uh, according to uh, what was settled in this legislation, you can have your first step according to all the aids and facilities 
presented by the government. Mm -hmm. It was not uh, only, as we mentioned before, uh, a technical one or uh, uh, or a very uh, uh, somehow uh, an infrastructure support, but it's also an administrative one. Mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, uh, help you to make a strategy or to make a structure for your project. Uh, we can help you to give uh, uh, a new uh, uh, fund to uh, appraise your capital and enlarge your uh, project or your uh, enterprise. And of course, we will uh, have a, a certain uh, tax plan uh, by uh, discharging these new enterprises or new projects from taxes for five years from its beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, so it will be a, a good opportunity to make uh, benefits and to, mo uh, to make uh, 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 new interests from uh, these projects. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, according to the uh, uh, standing or uh, uh, existing projects as well, uh, till uh, it will have its interval to be uh, uh, compatible for the new legislation. All this interval will be also tax uh, discharged from any uh, kind of taxes. F uh, this, uh, uh, these steps or this uh, economic and financial and administrative and the technical support, uh, uh, no one can hesitate in front of this opportunity if you have a new idea or uh, uh, a new uh, uh, project or uh, enterprise, of course it will be a good uh, uh, a good opportunity, especially for youth and the new ideas they have. Indeed. Uh, uh, Professor uh, Moatez, uh, as we're wrapping up, uh, I'd like to listen to your closing remarks and recommendations uh, in light of our discussion in this episode of Windows on Live TV International. Uh, of course, uh, the last recommendation must be, uh, uh, unless we have a, a great plan from the country here nowadays by issuing a new law, uh, considering the informal sector of the economy uh, to be in included in the uh, uh, economic development plan of the country. Uh, of course, it's now it's our role uh, to participate, to participate with ideas, to participate with uh, encouraging, to participate with support, and even to participate with dealing with this uh, uh, with these new ideas and these uh, enterprises, of course, it will give a very uh, good uh, hand for uh, the Egyptian country and, of course, it will give the youth uh, the uh, satisfi satisfaction for uh, this uh, uh, economic empowerment uh, the country planned for. Yeah, a final message to our Egyptian youth. Yeah. Uh, uh, of course, you may, uh, yeah, you may give your, uh, 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 your, your great efforts for this, uh, for this country as it uh, uh, it gives you uh, all it have and all these uh, 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 strategies or legislation can serve the Egyptian youth so you can also participate and begin uh, uh, your way uh, to have your benefit and also to give uh, uh, benefits for your country. Indeed and uh, as uh, our president uh, always concludes his uh, uh, speeches long live Egypt, long live Egypt, yes, long live Egypt. Uh, we really appreciate uh, your insight and uh, your contribution. Uh, Professor Martez Abouzaid, the Professor of Public Law, we really appreciate your presence and thank you so much for joining us live on Windows only on Nile TV International. Welcome, Mr. Karim. It's my honor. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, dear viewers, uh, by this uh, we wrap up uh, our uh, uh, episode uh, of Windows uh, here on Nile TV International. I'm Karim Benaydin. I was your host uh, for tonight. Until we meet again, this is goodbye.